Now, yesterday's letter from the former Justice Minister shows the extraordinary steps she's had to go to force this Prime Minister's hand to lift the legal gag order so she can speak truth to a parliamentary committee. But she's not the only person we need to hear from in the SNC scandal. We noticed that there were numerous attempts by Prime Minister's staff to pressure her into intervening in an independent legal investigation after it was found out that SNC was not eligible, and they used a manifestly illegal argument, which is economic interest. So in the interest of fairness, Will the Prime Minister agree that Katie Telford and Jerry Butts and the rest of his staff will also testify in this hearing? The Governor House Leader. Mr. Speaker, that is one of the many members that was denying that members of the Justice Committee could do their work and would be able to meet. Today, that committee is meeting. That member, his party, as well as the Conservatives, they said that the Justice Committee will not be calling for witnesses. Mr. Speaker, witnesses are appearing, they're answering questions. That member, his party, as well as the Conservatives, they said that the former Attorney General would not be invited to speak. Members of the Justice Committee invited her to speak, she will be speaking. They need to stop undermining the work of committees. They need to stop Timmons, James Bay, order. Oh, she's not going to get her honorary set of gold SNC cufflinks with excuses like that because we're talking about the illegal interventions by the Prime Minister's office. So let's just set this as Prime Minister and the clerk met with the former Justice Minister September 17th. She said no. A PMO official met her December 5th. She said no. PMO staff met with her staff December 18th. They said no. Then the clerk of the Privy Council met with her on December 19th, and she said no, and she was removed from her position soon after. So in the interest of corruption, I asked the Prime Minister, when does no mean no for the Liberal Party? The Honourable Government House Leader. Once again, let's look at the record. The Director of Public Prosecution Service confirmed that prosecutors in every case exercise their discretion independently and free from any political or partisan consideration. The Clerk of the Privy Council also confirmed that at every opportunity, verbally and in writing, in December, the Prime Minister made it clear that this was the decision for the Prime Minister of Justice to take. Mr. Speaker, we on this side, we lower taxes on middle-class Canadians so that we could increase them on the wealthiest 1%. The NDP said no to that measure. We on this side, we brought in the Canada Child Benefit. Today's and it confirms that 278,000 kids have been lifted out of poverty, over 800,000 Canadians. The NDP